over again? Because you, hey, whatever you got to do, man. Who, who, who am I, who am I to judge? Over. Not me. Not me. I won't judge you, bro. Do you? <laughs> All right, man. The election, 2020 election, the, uh, we're calling it the blackest election. It is, man. It's the blackest election of all time, period, without a doubt. In every way, shape, or form, this is the blackest election ever. More, yeah, black, I mean, people, more black people participated. Um, it, it took way too many days to, to pop off. Like, we showed up early, and we made a mistake. We showed up when the party started, but it ain't really get cracking until way later, and then it finally was over, and, then there was a, and now there's an after party that literally went on across the world afterwards. Like, it's the blackest election of all time. And, and most importantly, it got decided in all the blackest cities. Like, in our, in our hierarchy of black cities, it got decided in amongst the blackest ones of all time. All it needed was, uh, like it got, we got Detroit black, Philly black, Atlanta black. All we needed was Baltimore, St. Louis, Chicago, and we got the whole, we got the whole kid and caboodle. Right, because like trip, because like in California, they already handled it. So like Oakland, like the Bay and all them, they like, yep. you don't even come out here asking us what we doing. And, 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 we and, 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 and Oakland knows that their blackness uh, card is up for a um, uh, 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 renewal every year at this point. We're not sure still where <laughs> Oakland is in blackness. Like every year we have to reassess you're Oakland's get, blackness. You're, you're going to get in trouble. I didn't say that. You're going to get well, in trouble. I, I, no, That's look, look. Oakland knows. Oakland people know. They know that they have to get. I'm not saying they're not black now, but they have to get reassessed every year. They have to get new tags every year. They, 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 can't, we, they can't get the two-year tags. But we also saw some emergent black cities popping up. You know what I'm saying? And we saw some things. But as always, it was a, um, it was, because, hey, I'll put it this way. Because I know about four or five brothers that have relocated. We talk about people going to new places, not necessarily becoming different cats that just went to different places that's living down in Phoenix now. So you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? We starting to see that. We starting to see that 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 twist and turn. Shout out to my co-host Brandon. He's he's in Phoenix. My co-host from the, uh, just kicking it is in, in Phoenix. <laughs> you look look at that. Even 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 S O L C is that is in Phoenix. <laughs> S O L C West uh, yep. <laughs> is, is out there. But you know what I'm saying. Uh, but so we got like we, we saw these places pop up, man. We saw black people represent, and Joe himself said it. He knows he's not there without black folks, and he said, "I I, I owe y'all one." Hey, and one thing you know about us, we gonna be there ready to collect it too. <laughs> so I mean, that was who, the, it, before we even get in there. Who's 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 the bill collector on on Joe though? Who who comes? Who shows up to bill? Like, hey man, you going to oh, run Kamala, that? Shit. Kamala is there for that. She's black woman accountability is at his hip. <laughs> so we don't need to we don't need to get uh, James Evans to show up or nothing. No, we good. But we hope we don't need to do that. I don't. Joe's not that. Joe is Joe is Joe is riding with. Kamala and Barack, he's, he is sandwiched between, it's like a political Oreo. We got everything we need, like, right there. <laughs> now, it might be like a vanilla Oreo, just because we got, two, we got a light-skinned sister, a light-skinned brother, and then Joe in the middle, but it's an Oreo all the same, and I'm all about it. What's, what's it. the vanilla wafer? What's the, not the vanilla, vanilla wafer, right? When it's not vanilla wafer, what's the, what's the white, the, the yellow version? They just called vanilla for me, Van vanilla sandwich cookie. Because, you know, we was eating them off brand ones, too. The ones that had that one strip, that one stripe of vanilla, that one stripe of chocolate, and then that other strip of vanilla. Yeah, right in the middle. That's Joe Biden. <laughs> That's Joe Biden right in the middle. So, uh, so yeah, but, uh, yeah, man. But, hey, I mean, I got no, I got no lack of, uh, of belief in that, that he's going to come through on those things. It ain't going to be easy. And I do know that for a fact he's going to disappoint some people because it's not going to be easy to accomplish, accomplish a lot of those things. But I hope. There, there's, there's, in, in all seriousness, there's some things that I looked at this and I said that you hear a lot of people say, well, my vote's not going to count anyway. You saw that that's just flat ass not true in a, mm -hmm. in a lot of these places. Imagine if people thought that in Philly and didn't go vote. Well, we might be having a very different conversation right now. And I'm going to say before we go too far down this pathway, and I definitely want your take on it. Listen, I do not have this doomsday scenario like Trump is going to somehow go into the Supreme Court are going to some corner of the Constitution and reverse millions of votes that went the other way. It's just not happening. It's just, it's just not happening. I, don't I also think Republicans don't like him enough to even let him do that. Like, True. Is, is, this, is this really going to be, I know we rode this donkey into, into the, uh, Damascus, you know, uh, trying to change the world and try to do our thing. But do we really want to go this far down the rabbit hole for this guy? I think they realized they went a step too far with this one. 
and now they like, all right, we got a way out. Let's just see if we can do another way. But no, but I was, but I, with the, the crazy thing is I was listening to shout out the, the Bakari Sillers podcast, man. I was listening to that. And they were talking about how they don't even know if the, the Republican Party could come back from this, though. Yeah, I mean, even of all people, Lindsey Graham said that. You know what I'm saying? I was like, uh, you know, we don't contest this. We'll never get another Republican president. I said, well, maybe y'all need to change y'all platform a little bit and figure out how you can relate to more people. Because guess what? There's a whole generation of even younger black folks that saw this and is going to be ready to vote when they time come around in 2024. Them people that's uh, right between that um, between that 14 and 18 age gap that might have missed it, or that 13 and 17 that's going to get the chance to step up. Like, I missed the chance to vote in the 2000 election by months, but I was sure ready in, 20, in 2004. You know what I'm saying? So, like, it's just those people are going to be more excited than ever. And if you got a black woman at the top of the ticket, bro, it, it's going to be things have changed. Things change on the other side of this. You know and it's interesting because, uh, and I can't wait to the, uh, to uh, pause as usual discuss it now because I want to ask them: Is this is tr the Trumpers basically the morphing of the Tea Party that popped up? It was it's basically the mutant of the Tea Party. I think that what and yeah, we can definitely talk about. We don't hear about Tea Party people no more. Remember those like Tea Party Republicans. Getting well, these yeah. positions and like they would be like, yeah, I'm in a tea. Now we, I've not heard of anybody saying I'm part of the Tea Party. Well, because it got swallowed up underneath the, the underneath the regular back into the regular Republican Party and into MAGA. I think MAGA. I think that's more the regular Republican Party. They just kind of went back to MAGA is a whole different thing. It's a whole different <laughs> thing. It's not going anywhere, and I think it's going to become more of the Libertarian Party than anything else. Mm. Really have to watch out for. Um, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, we'll, politics as usual will definitely catch that. And they'll talk yeah, about we got the jokes level. for you here. We, we, we come up with them jokes for you here. We, we, we at a level that we ain't. But we do have some things that we need to discuss that happened around this, around the blackest week of politics of all time that I want to get out there. And first of all, um, uh, in any other year, what happened in Oregon might have been bigger news. But um, they went to a whole nother level. Like, you know, when something happened it, and then you look and be, you be like, oh, say what? <laughs> like, what happened? <laughs> like, keep a lookout for your friends that's up and moving to Oregon because they got something popping. They got something <laughs> booming. Like, the new trap is about to be Portland. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they got ports up there, too. You know, it is, you, you can get your, your good dope from China, and the people don't know Oregon is not decriminalized all drugs. Yes. It's all on You only get a ticket. It's 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 in, it's incredible. Like we talking about cocaine, baby. <laughs> we talking about no, no, I can't, now before y'all get to running up there pushing weight, it's all it's only to a certain amount. You can't beat up up there uh, pushing bricks down. I'm not, we, I'm, I'm not suggesting you getting a kilo. Don't be sitting at home watching Narcos, being like, "Oh, it's time to go." <laughs> we are going up to Lake Oswego or whatever. We got the <laughs> enough shop and get it and get it cracking. Like that's not what we're talking about, but. You know what I'm saying? But, like, the state of Oregon literally has gone to another level. They decriminalize psychedelic mushrooms. Now, here's the reality of it, the way I look at it. It's like, those are the type of drugs I think you're going to really see the boom in up there. Like, those those little, you know, because Portland is super, super liberal. I don't even like how that word gets used in, in a lot of regards, but it's right in this case. Like, Portland, have you ever watched Portlandia? Yes. With Fred Armisen? <laughs> Like, yep. wouldn't, wouldn't you imagine that that's a place that would legalize, like, magic mushrooms? Yeah, and, like, oh, of course. Like, LSD and stuff like that. Like, it, it's going to be interesting to see what happens. I think that some of the headlines that come out of Oregon are going to rival Florida soon. It's going to be great. <clears throat> yeah, it's going to be it's gonna be one, man. I like I look forward to seeing how many people will just move there. Like, I'm just going on a spiritual journey, man. I'm going to Oregon. <laughs> 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 the Portland Trailblazers is going to have some problems on deck. They might be the new Dallas Cowboys if they don't watch out. Oh, the man, they're going to the 1990s Dallas Cowboys, too. I'm and I know the whole, I know the Portland, Bla uh, uh, you know, Blazers, you know, old school tr uh, Blazers are like, God damn, we just, y'all have been 15 more years, we'd have been in there. Bill Walton's number got retired for a second reason now, it's going to look <laughs> like up there. But they does, he he lives in Port does he live in Oregon still or is he back in No, I think I'm he's assuming. back in Arizona. Oh, oh, I think Arizona, Arizona. Arizona. Uh, so, but but four other states. Speaking of Arizona, also um, you know, also decrypt and made legalized uh, recreational marijuana. Uh, New Jersey, Arizona, Montana, South Dakota. Like I feel like that's just the thing. Like weed and vote and, and gambling. Let's just get it done. 
like 49 states. Utah is not going to do it because that place is weird. We'll talk about them in a second because they did a whole other direction. But like, it's just time to do it. Like, let's get it figured out. Let's let's give people a little bit more freedom to do it. And you know what? It'll go underneath our platform's idea of everybody just enjoying their American experience a little bit more. Mm-hmm. And not trying to trying to cramp people down. I, I, I'm interested in New Jersey one. New Jersey is just like, fuck.